now let us see the interstitial compound interstitial compound interstitial position i told you when the four students are sitting around and then fifth student is coming and sitting in between the position of yours so that is called interstitial position so that interstitial compounds due to the transition metals react with the hydrogen carbon nitrogen boron these are a small size of atoms transition metals are very bigger in size and these small size will be accommodated to the space when they were they find the space so they are trapped in the vacant space of transition metals and form a hard and rigidity so this hydrogen boron uh, carbon nitrogen or a uh, non metals these are non metals so properties of uh, properties of um, the interstitial compounds retain the metallic conductivity have very high melting point very hard and rigid chemically more reactive have a very less density so interstitial compounds of uh, metals with the vacant spaces or voids the vacant space are called as a void maybe the tetrahedral void and octahedral void tetrahedral is t void is called v octahedral o and void is called v already i have discussed in the coordination compound lesson please go through the ninth lesson coordination compounds only then easily understand this less topics so tetrahedral void will have the 2n formula octahedral void is 1n formula because double the number is called as a tetrahedral void i mean single effective number only is called as a octahedral void so in a simple compound simple cubic means only one so octahedral void is one and tetrahedral void is two for example fcc it is nothing but four so octahedral void one into four four atoms and here that the void is present is two into four eight so for a body centered cubic it is two so what it is a one into two two four octahedral void by two into two four so double the number is a tetrahedral void and octahedral void is a single number so tetrahedral void is formed by the combination of four atoms octahedral void is formed by the combination of six atoms so by adding the four atoms the void will be produced it is called tetrahedral void by adding the six atoms are meet together it produces the void is called as a octahedral void so next example fe3c and fe7c3 fe2c so what these are the 3 and 7 2 these are the oxidation number of carbon and the uh, ion the exchanges large metal we are in i are placing the void of carbon is a smaller size so the strength of the ion will be increases so carbide of chromium manganese and carbide of iron cobalt nickel these are the example hydrogen always occupies in tetrahedral void carbon and nitrogen always occupied in the octahedral void this is the tips for you to find out whether that particular compound is a tetrahedral void or octahedral void carbon nitrogen is present it will produce octahedral void hydrogen will always uh, will have a tetrahedral void it will go on occupying that the void oxides and sulfides of transition elements which show more than one oxidation state because here at uh, iron having 0.82 per percentage and here 0.94 percentage means between 0.82 0.94 the percentage of iron will be combined with this oxygen so oxygen as well as sulfide sulfide means sulfur will have the atomicity is 8 s8 plus plus means p4 only we should write up zinc oxide for example it is a white when it is cold if it is hot it becomes a changed into white change into yellow color now let us see the ncert question with the interstitial carbides the type of chemical bond present between metal atoms and the non metal atoms because we are adding the non metal atom of hydrogen carbon boron nitrogen only we are adding to the metallic atom of transition metals so whether it is a covalent or if it is a ionic or it is a coordinate means no bond at all it forms because they are go and sitting and go and occupying in the void only so they are not forming with the metals 
So this is no bond at all in between the interstitial carbides. Thanks for watching students.